Now that nursing home residents and health care workers have been getting the shot for about two weeks, the first doses intended for widespread community use are starting to be rolled out as well. News Nation reporter Brandon Truitt was there as people living in one Rhode Island community hit hard by COVID-19 rolled up their sleeves today. The moment has come where people are again are restored with hope. It was a busy and in many ways historic day in Central Falls. The first doses for community use administered throughout the city. We knew what we, we were up against and unfortunately uh, what we were thinking came to a reality. Central Falls has consistently reported some of the highest infection and hospitalization rates. Nearly 20,000 people live in this one and a quarter square mile city. The Rhode Island Department of Health saying it's why some of the first doses are coming here. It makes sense if we're going to stop the spread of the virus. We stop it where it's spreading from most. The first deliveries came here, the Central Falls Housing Authority. They have two buildings with roughly 300 residents total and enough vaccine to cover those who want it. People living here made appointments last week. Doses were given in their rooms to avoid large gatherings or lines. All of it part of the nearly 1,500 vaccines the state is sending here by the end of the week. At a separate event, donated doses. The public private pharmacy Asthensis deciding to administer their allotment in Central Falls. A city spokeswoman tells me all of this came together quickly. Calls went out to public school families Tuesday with nearly 300 appointments booked in hours. It's absolutely a, a bit of relief. Although distribution is slowly picking up the pace, doctors are pleading with people to stay vigilant. Stay with this um, and stop this disease um, from spreading and not assume that because vaccination has started uh, that the disease is over. We have a long way to go before that happens. Brandon Truitt, News Nation, Providence.